Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild here with me on the African Savannah Reserve. We're starting more or less in the same place we was in the beginning of the last episode. We're supposed to be travelling to this cave painting, but obviously in the last episode, I got very distracted by shooting animals that seem to have brain worms. So, it looks like the, um, the hotfix patch update that Expansive Worlds released yesterday for the game has fixed some of the issues people were reporting on Tuesday with the um, Lion update. And I can report that I did notice a improvement in the quick kill um, for double lung shots. So it seems that that's been corrected and adjusted somewhat. However, in, you know, typical expansive worlds sort of nature, or they release a patch for a patch that breaks more stuff than it fixes. So now we need a patch for the patch for the patch. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Because yesterday, we definitely noticed the animals seemed to be a little bit broken in their AI. Some of them wouldn't move at all when you walked up to them and approached them. They would stay perfectly still. They might move in a little area around a little zone, but they wouldn't spook and run away until you shot them. And at that point, they would go absolutely crazy and try to trample you to death. Or they'd run a mile <laughs> and you'd end up tracking them all over the place. And in some cases, like the first animal I shot in yesterday's video, you'd never find it. Or you had the situation whereby animals would move around until you shot them and then they would um, freeze in place until they died and collapsed obviously in the heap and let you harvest them. Which was a bit funny as well because you, you know, I shot a couple of kudu and I shot some wildebeest off camera and um, they just kind of stand there and their heads sort of move from side to side and their mouths sort of open and close a bit. It's almost like they're talking to you. And they're like going, why me? Why have you done this to me? And then they die. And it was quite comical. It was quite funny. But obviously it's a little bit immersion breaking in the game now. And I hope the animals aren't going to be glitched for too long. You've got the hunter's <laughs> sense. Follow those tracks. Okay, Grandpa. We'll follow the tracks. But you know what I'm going to do first, Grandpa? Ooh. Right. Here's the thing. I've got some new weapons. I've changed my loadout since the last video off camera. I'm now rocking the 338 boomstick so we can one-shot um, lions. Okay, we've got a kudu there that seems to have brain worms. Oh, it's deja vu all over again. Like yesterday's stream repeated, yesterday's video repeated. Started out the same way, and we shot it, and it had the brain worms. And we never found it. We might let that guy go. We might give him a pass at this point in time. Honestly, I'm surprised there's any animals left in this area, because I would have thought. The hunting pressure that I put down yesterday would make this flipping 
you know, no man's land now. There wouldn't be anything here. You know, it's like Black Death. It would be like cautioned off. Surprising. Although, to be fair, he could be the same trolley flipping kudu. That we did shoot yesterday, because I never did find that mail. So we'll see. We'll lure him in. We'll pull a bullet in him. I am rocking the 243 now as opposed to the 3030. Make sure we've got integrity. And I'll go for a vitals hit on it. Rather than a brain shot. Because that didn't work for me yesterday, did it? Very well. So yeah, 243 should give me the integrity on everything. Hairs, caught, um, link, um, jackals, spring bot. Etc. 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 Me 44 Magnum. I now have glow sights. Woohoo! Shotgun hasn't changed, although it's currently equipped with birdshot because that seems to work really well on scrub hairs. And then obviously we've added now. I've now purchased the boomstick, the 338. Which should be pretty good. Like I say, it should give us one shot options on some of the, the bigger animals. And if I come across any buffalo again, like in yesterday's video, or the last video, melanistic. Ooh! 61% quick kill. Really? Only 61% for a melanistic. Lesser kudu. Yeah, I need single lung D, you see. Should have let it turn side on and busted a cap in both its lungs. But hey, we won't get too distracted. We need to get to this cave painting. Don't we? And we've put more hunting pressure down on top of the hunting pressure that was already here. <laughs> so yeah loadout changes in effect hopefully should have all our bases covered now as far as integrity quick kills that sort of stuff um, on animals all the animals we should be protected like I say if we do come across anything big like lions or buffalo the 338 should take them down without them having the option to trample me to death or maul me I know a lot of people probably find the um, the water buffalo killing me in the last video to be quite funny <laughs> but you know I shot it in the brain with the 3030 and it had enough time before it died to chase me and trample me it ain't going to do that if I shoot it in the brain with the 338, because there won't be any heads left. So yeah, let's have a look. Hunting log, wasn't it? Latest harvest. So yesterday, oh my good lord, it was crazy. We had blue wildebeest, we had buffaloes, uh, three buffaloes, scrub hares. These are all the ones I think I shot off camera. Sounds like rabbits. Scrub hairs.
Goodbye. They are incredibly loud. Rabbits are incredibly loud sounding. And the the sound just seems to come from everywhere. It makes it really difficult to pinpoint them. Don't know whether anybody else notices that. With the game. Whereas like yesterday, Buffalo was sneaking up on me off camera because they they don't make hardly any sound and it doesn't make sense how something the size of a buffalo can move stealthily and sneak up on you and trample you when tiny little things like rabbits sound like a blooming earthquake coming through, don't they? Sound balance is a little bit off, I think, at times. <laughs> look at the views. Oh, look, what we got down there? Or oh, kudos. I think we've harvested enough kudos. <laughs> We'll, we'll let them have a rest today. You know, ideally I would like to hunt a couple more spring box and stuff. Because I've still got a quest to do some spring box hunting. I'm at three at the minute. And I need to harvest five for uh, Grandpa in Vuxa or Vexa or whatever it's called. The region. Which am I still in? Yeah, still in Vuxa. So yeah, any spring box in this area? Get shoes did. Um Like I say the two four three should help me with that because it's got a better scope than the um uh thirty thirty. The 3030 is nice because it lets you because it's lever action. You can fire it. You can fire off all four rounds quite quick succession, which is great if an animal's close to you. But Springboks don't tend to get all that close. And then trying to hit them on the run is very hard. But we will see. Still got quite a long trek to go to the cave painting site. I almost thought about busting out the ATV and having a drive to some of these locations that Grandpa's going to give us. Wait, look. Children know. Buffaloes or anything of massive interest to us. I don't know if I'm meant to be on this mountain or not, or whether I'm just supposed to walk round it. <laughs> I do know one thing, I don't want to fall off. Go sliding all the way down to the bottom. And everyone laugh at my ragdoll. As I go. More scrub hairs. There they are, look. Got one. I've got two. I 
I'll tell you what, the 12 gauge pump action, that's a boomstick as well, isn't it? <laughs> you know. I feel like Ash from the evil, evil dead army of darkness. This is my boomstick. Now you primitive screw heads better listen up. <laughs> oh yeah, silver. Email, chestnut, boom. So yeah, scrub hairs, get scrubbed. That might be the title of the video. <laughs> scrub hairs, get scrubbed. Scrub hair resting zone, four. Might want to edit that. There's only two now. Love the 12 gauge. Some archaeologists from a Marshall College in Connecticut, USA, came to restore a site they claim is among the oldest human artworks ever discovered. I need photos of the restoration for Furanga's new website. It's on your way to your next gig. Scratch two birds with one shot on this hike. Okay, Grandpa. Wants me to take some photos of cave paintings then. Okie dokie. For the website, for the Hootubers, as he calls them. There's Hootubers. Any more scrub hairs wanting to get scrubbed? Okay, so we're actually going into the cave. Okay. This is where something comes out and eats my face, normally. Not gonna lie. That's what usually happens in games. I go into caves and I have my face eaten. Marshall restoration site. You got your camera? I have got my camera, Grandpa. I always carry my camera. Photograph the cave painting. And there's a discoverable. Cool is this? I live in here. Set up a little base camp. Put down a tent. I probably could, you know, if I had a tent with me. The sand paintings date back 10,000 years to 8,000 BCE. They show hunters and antelopes. Naturally, hunting was your only option for a career in those days. These paintings show that certain aspects of sand life have persisted longer than any other civilization or society. But most remarkable is the fact that we can see these at all. Ancient humans, working with nothing but the plants and minerals around them, concocted a dye which has lasted centuries of weathering. How could we ever call such people primitive? I do not know. Hey. Done. Marshall College does surprisingly competent restoration work. Uh, thank you for getting this. Right, what's next? Travel to the swamps. Really? Now oh, continue to, to the Zonga, to the place marked on your codex. We need you to collect some water samples from the swamps. Don't get squeamish on me. You've done well so far. Now it's time to get your hands dirty. And your feet. And your legs. Really, Grandad? Really?
we're going to the swamps. We probably find Shrek. At this rate. Where's Shrek? Travel to the swamps for science? I don't think so. Probably likely to end up with cholera or dysentery or something from the swamps. Typhoid fever. Lion is chasing something. Very good. Wants to chase it in my direction, that's fine. I'll happily take it and her. Alright, we're leaving Buxa now, which means any spring mocks I harvest now aren't going to count towards that mission. Unfortunately, that's a bit of a shame, but beautiful landscape. It's a bit green, isn't it? I didn't think Africa was as green as this, except after the rainy season. By the way, you've got a good eye. But hopefully your brother won't reject your photography as insufficiently composed or some fancy crap like that. He's very picky about what he puts on his new website. Who made him the arbiter of good taste? Not me, I can tell you. Eish, but I'm paying him to make the website. So maybe it was me after all. Anyway, welcome to Zonga, where every insect on the planet is waiting to greet you. You received the inoculations, right? The ones I specified on the checklist I sent you. It was very important that you get all the shots, not just some of them. I hope you got them all, for both our sakes. Wait, you're sending me where? I needed shots? What shots? What inoculations? Ring mark. I didn't get a memo about shots. Am I likely to catch some disease then or something? You got me worried now, Grandpa. out of the frying pan and into the fire with this game, innit? I left Park Fernando because the person who employed me there seemed to be a bit of a gangster. Mafia, mafioso kind of, you know, thing. Punched it in the lungs with a 243. You know that ain't going nowhere. I was going to use another expression or phrase that I like to use, but um, I'm trying to keep these videos PG <laughs> these days. Anyone who's maybe caught some of my earlier videos or some of my streams might know the phrase I'd normally use. But, you know, for these video on demands, and we'll, uh, we'll try and keep it clean and family friendly. Yeah, you didn't run very far, did you? Lady Springbok. Left lung, right lung, 100% quick kill. Boom! 
doesn't count though towards my target of five because we're in the wrong region now. Pressing the wrong buttons. Let's keep the range finder handy. Just so we can drop. Do some spotting if we need to. The PDA doesn't really tell me much. The hunter mate. The hunter mate's really only useful for um, when we're tracking animals that haven't died very quickly. Or for possibly showing me where there's points of interest on the map. It'll be interesting if I can walk up this hill all the way to the top, or whether the game's going to freak out in a minute and go, nope, you shall not pass. Seems to be letting me. Good. That's good, because the last thing I'd want is to have to... Uh, Walk all the way round the mountain, if I can help it. All right, anything over there to shoot? Nope. So we'll keep heading towards our next waypoint then. Anything up here to shoot? Ah! Fuck. Really? That made such a weird sound. It like ran up behind me and went. <coughs> what did it think it was? A lion? Because I'll be honest, it did startle me a bit. I was thinking, what the hell was that? And it turns out it's just a springbok. You best run, mate. Well, at least it looks like the animals are not as um, heavily infected by brain worms today as they were in the last video. It does seem like they are moving around and, you know, doing stuff. behaving a little bit more normally. They must have just been having a bad night last night when I recorded the last video. <laughs> That's the only thing I can... how I can explain it. Come down here. I wonder if there's going to be an outpost anywhere. There must be. If there is, we'll unlock it. Give ourselves a fast travel point. Let's head a little bit southwest. Let's move inland a bit, shall we? See if we can't find anything or maybe startle something into revealing itself if it's hunkered down and hiding in these bushes or the grass. See, I'm not too worried about steak walking. 
on this map because like I say a lot of the area does t t tend to be quite open so if you do kind of startle and spook an animal you can see it running and you can still have time to shoot it which is pretty cool on some of the other maps where obviously the train's a bit anyhow and the foliage is a bit any anyhow you do need to sort of sneak walk because if an animal takes off it can be very difficult to spot it later to get a, a shot at it not seeing a lot of animals now i'm not in the you know the concerned mode that um, Park Fernando gave me as far as animals I know it tends to be a bit quieter down on this um, southern part of the uh, the reserve like I say most of the animals tend to be in that middle starting area on that the plains Where are we? So I reckon there's probably an outpost there, or if not, there's at least one there. Would be my guess. I'm kind of surprised there's not more scrub hares in this area. being quite green this I would have thought would have been kind of like ideal sort of area for rabbits doesn't seem to be a lot of predators the hares it's quite green plenty of bushes and stuff for them to hide in But I definitely don't think this is going to offer anything up hunt wise because I'm not even seeing any tracks so it's not like we get Springbok or Gemsbok or Kudu or anything wandering around up here doesn't appear to be wildebeest or buffalo tracks up here either so perhaps they don't climb mountains they're probably down near the water you think that's probably more likely where they'd be wouldn't you coming up to half a kilometer from our destination Granddad's had me on a trek today. Flip. Into the swamps, into Shrek's backyard. So beautiful. Uh, 
but not seeing any signs of life. I'm assuming I've got to head down here anyway. If we're going to the swamp, I probably need to be closer to, like, water, the water table. <laughs> it's going to probably be hard for me to investigate the swamp from the top of a, a mountain or a hill. So I probably ought to be heading back. Back down. That might afford me the chance to see something. Nice to get a hunt, another animal harvested along the way, won't it? Can't believe there's no hares in this area. You would think they'd be thriving up here. encounter anything down here. Again, you'd think where there's water sources, you would find life, an abundance of it. Because nothing can survive without water. Last year, if you got this close to the swamp, all you would hear were tsetses buzzing. Tick, 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 tick. They are bad, bad bugs. When our drought began, animals started clustering at fewer water sources, and the tsetse flies clustered with them. That meant TNT, tsetses and trypanosomiasis, a virus that forms nagana in livestock. Nasty disease. Very bad. In humans, the same virus forms sleeping sickness. Sleeping sickness, eh? It's no way to die. Anyway, the problem was the clustering. So we broke up the heads as best we could. Aggressively quarantined sick animals. We had help from all over. All hands on deck. This year, no more tsetses. Okay. Like water samples from the swamps. I'm not going to head into the swamps, have I? You're not going to mark on my map. Interesting. Take another sample from the site marked on your map. Okay. I'll wander a bit more southerly.
not really any option to interact. Am I missing something? I'm stuck. Swamp's got me. Gotta get out of this. Come on. <laughs> Where? You knock away to get into that stuff. Find a different water source then to interact with. This one should do then. This is easy work, right? Too easy, maybe? Ish, then you should be able to get it done faster. Good up, Grandpa. I'll break your hip. On the last one then that we need. Get the map. Okay. Still in the right region. Here's another one coming up, man. Go and interact with this one. Mm. There. Thank you for mocking around. 
Your brother will submit these samples for testing. There's also a lot more work to do here in the Zonga. With the river drying, Mohamganyi, wildebeests, are migrating through the reserve. So many, they don't realize they're going to starve themselves by depleting the grassland. Your job here will be to focus on saving the wildebeest from overpopulation. Just check your mission log when you've got time to spare. Eh, I almost forgot, grandchild. That shot you took of the restored painting. Your brother sent it to a photojournalist who frequents the reserve, Flip Osprey. Flip was impressed with your eye. I told him you'd get it from me. He has some more assignments for you, if you're game. Helping him will put a little extra cash in your pocket and promote the reserve while we're at it. Okay, so the guy wants us to take photos of animals. Nice. Right this moment, though, you have another priority. Flip Osprey isn't the only foreign media we've had touring the hunger. This German Hootube guy or whatever, yeah, Gustav Baden, he calls himself a world-famous ghost hunter. I took one look at him. I said, if this man sees a real ghost, the only thing he'll do is turn a paler shade of white. That's racist. Your brother thought it was better to humor Baden for the Hootube views and exposure or whatever. So I let him come with all his fancy gear and his cameras. What a fool I was. He's not been here two days. Two days. And already, Gustav Baden has gone radio silent. Without our guidance, between the poachers and the buffalo, this European Mampara is going to get himself killed. Go to his campsite. Give him your spare radio and talk some bloody sense into him. He should have a camp set up to your west in the area marked on your map. Dead bunny rabbit. I got you. Yeah, dead bunny. Right, so now we need to take pictures of proper animals, do we? And what's the dealie? What's the dealies here? Travel to Gustav Barden's camp. Not a problem. We can do that. Looks like this area is very popular for rabbits. So we'll keep the shotgun handy. Because it may allow me to bag a couple on our travels, although that's, those to be fair are not the footprints the 
the wildebeest. I kind of want to go to that outpost, that lookout tower, which is going to be up on the hill. Which means probably I can't even get up there. But we'll have a look. Gems box. Again, we've hunted a lot of them recently, so we might give them a break today. Okay, so let's get to this tower. There's another point of interest not far from here, from me as well. That could be the outpost. I need to get up this hillside. Please let it be an outpost. There's rabbits near my outpost. You're going to get shooted. not an outpost but it is a point of interest swamped Still a long way then from where I need to be. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get up there to that. <laughs> Look at tower, but that is probably something I will do then off camera before the next episode in the series. For now, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I will be back again with some more Hunter of the Wild content very soon. For now, from me. It is goodbye.